<laughs> Tons of clothes, okay? I bought this unit. I paid 60 bucks for it. Uh, after fees, it was $73. And um, it was just a big, big, big pile of clothing. Now, what I'm going to show you guys, I didn't expect what I was what I was getting into. I thought I was going to come here, uh, get in these little lock boxes, uh, and have to get rid of a ton of clothes. But what turned out was this guy has some very expensive clothing. Um, some of you may know it. A lot, a lot of you younger guys, you probably won't know this brand, um, but you older guys, you will know this brand, and, and you will see the ridiculous amount of money that's here. So let me go through this, uh, these clothing and talk to you guys about it, and then we will open these chests together, okay? Okay, so just a quick look-see look -see here. Uh, as you can see... We got a ton of clothes. These are the chests we're gonna open. I haven't touched any of them, I can promise you guys. Um, and there's a big TV under this. It's nothing special, it's kind of wider. Uh, found some paperwork in here. This stuff has been sitting here for years, guys. It has cobwebs. Um, some of it may not, I mean, you see that there's a little bit of a faint dust dirt line. Don't know if that'll come out. That's not in everything. Uh, that's why I went ahead and categorized everything, and I'll walk through here and show you guys really quick. Uh, there are thousands, I mean thousands of dollars worth of clothing here. And let me just walk this out for you, okay? This right here is just a jacket. It's got to, we got to see if it's cleaned up, but this is polo. Now, I sell clothes, I don't sell clothing, guys. And what I mean by that is I won't sell polo, um, I'll clean this up. I'll take it to a place called Plato's Closet, and they will decide if they want to buy it. They'll give me two or three bucks for it, and that's that. But there are very specific clothing that I will sell. Unique Western-style vintage clothing, yes. It's got the pearl snaps on it. This stuff is really popular. Some of these shirts bring anywhere from 15 to 50 bucks. Okay. Uh, also got a fishing vest here. But here we go. Let me show you the good the goodies, okay? <laughs> this is piled up in my truck, right, guys? This is all one brand. Orvis, okay? Oh, yeah, Sally. Uh, this is also Western uh, Pearl Snaps. Orvis. 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 And it goes on and on and on. You see how big this pile is. Jackets and long sleeves. And then we got this right here. This is good jackets in great condition. Orvis, this is like a nice fishing jacket. Vest, vest, sweater, vest, jacket, jean jacket. And it just keeps going and going and going and going. Now, um, here's the thing with Orvis, guys. I didn't know, okay, here's how I knew Orvis was worth money uh, when I started reselling. My grandfather actually owns a bank. Uh, he's a co-owner, and he's got a lot of money. Now, granted, I don't get to see any of that money. Uh, i got to make my own way, and then maybe one day, sure. But he is a very frugal man, but everything he buys is top quality. I mean, the best of the best. And he would always ask for Christmas for an Orvis sweater or a jacket. And I remember going with my dad and looking at him. $300 for an Orvis jacket, guys. It's not Gucci. It's not Louis Vuitton. This is the old rich man's quality uh, clothing, guys. It's built to last, just like L.L. Bean. L.L. Bean is a great brand. There's a couple shirts in here that are L.L. Bean. But majority of it is Orvis. And this stuff, new, was not cheap at all, guys. We're talking most of it is close to, like, the long sleeve shirts. Those are probably $100. Um, the jackets are two to $400, guys. No joke. And this stuff resells amazing, absolutely amazing. So whoever this was had a had, I don't know if he had money or not, but he had a lot of money in clothing, which is no wonder why he's why he stored it all. So we got some brand new stuff here too, Dockers. Not really too big on that, but you know I'll find the right buyer for it. I'm not looking. To, this is a lot of clothing. I'm not going to bang all this out in one uh, by myself. Pioneer wear. Uh, you got a, a vintage Ducks Unlimited uh, denim vest that'll bring good money something else new with tags but some of it does need some cleaning up and it might not it might not work out uh, well let me show you this real quick there's a bag of jeans i haven't gotten into this is um western 
button down shirts uh, with pearl snaps. They are in style. They bring good money. Same with this one. This is a Sally. More. Another nice one. And then another Western pearl snap. And then you got some in really good shape BKE Tyler jeans. Those are good. Those aren't cheap. And then I've got all this. This all needs to be sorted. I need to make sure that it's good stuff. I mean, look, it is good stuff, but is it, you know, L.L. Bean, this is a great shirt. You've got a lot of polo stuff here. Most of this is polo. Most of this is polo. Uh, this stuff is probably not salvageable. It was on the floor, so I'm going to be really picky because we have a lot. But the Orvis stuff, guys, I'm telling you right now, I will make an absolute killing on that stuff, especially with it being wintertime right now. Uh, people pay big money for Orvis, so just keep that in mind. Got a couple posters here, Carhartt vest. Got to see if that'll clean up. But he's also got Fender shirts, Fender acoustics. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, another Orvis vest here, Polo, Levi, American Eagle. Oh, Fender shirt here, Gibson Guitar Center uh, shirt. And then you've got a nice Cabela's vest that's in great shape, a Remington um, long sleeve, and a Calvin Klein. Then you got all these jerseys, which most of them are really dirty. Uh, we're going to see if they clean up, but that's quite a bit of jerseys. If I can just get one or two out of them, I mean, the Phillies jersey is in great shape, or Devils, I'm sorry, uh, that's in great shape. A Marlboro bag, I'll get five bucks for that at the flea market. Then you got some uh, tailor made golf clubs. Which is awesome because TaylorMade is a great brand. The only thing I see wrong in here is I do not see a putter. And putters sell the best. They, oh, yeah, they, yeah, do. There's a nice putter back here. Okay, we'll have to check out this putter. Maybe you guys know it. Thomas Golf AT60. Hopefully that putter is worth some money. The, that sells great. The TaylorMade bag, it's not in the best shape, but it brings, they bring good money. Now let's show you the little knickknacks that were in here. This is all garbage. This is some kind of vintage lamp with a motorcycle attached to it. But look what I found in here. Right when I got in the unit. There's a bullet in here. Okay. And there's also... Well, I don't know where it is. But there's a green army duffel bag in here. And there was also a shirt. Here's an entire bag of hats we're going to have to go through. Luckily, they were all bagged up. So maybe the dust didn't get to them that bad. This hack almost got ruined it's a stetson crushable hat i don't know if i can repair that but i know stetson hats these are not cheap at all um we'll see there's some john deere in here converse you know stuff that's in style still people want okay so um so i saw the bullet and i also saw a jacket that said army air force on it saw a couple jackets like this this stuff is trash i'll have to go through it really quick but for the most part i mean you can see where something was laying on the floor it got mildewed and we don't want that i don't want that in my house so i am going to be picky about what i take home what i drop off to goodwill and what i throw away um uh, i'm not i'm not going to donate shit with uh nasty mildew on it it's just not right so without further ado what you guys really want to see so I, if i guesstimated i would say that i've got uh, and, and quick resale value on eBay, probably, oh man, I don't know, two or three grand worth of Orvis. And I know that seems ridiculous, but but it's true, guys. Some of those jackets bring 100, 200 bucks, even reselling them. So maybe I can lot them up or something. At least $1,000 um, in Orvis clothing alone. And then a lot of this stuff, I'll get the really nice stuff that I don't want to sell, like Polo. Ralph Lauren, unless it's a jacket... It just doesn't bring much money. There's so much of it. It's just like 90s baseball cards. It doesn't bring a lot online. So maybe I can find someone local who will take a look at it that sells recolloting. But I will be taking nice pieces. I will be putting those on the internet. And then the rest of the stuff, I'll find a local buyer or um, I'll take it to Plato's Closet, which will probably be a majority of this stuff. Then the rest of Goodwill and the other part trash. It will take me a couple hours to get through this stuff. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get in these little boxes. Okay. Right off the bat, I'm seeing CDs. Looks like a junk drawer kind of, kind of uh, bag. Yep, crap. 
really. Let's just put it that way. Crap in here. Got a Mr. Show DVD. Just some tables. Come on, video games. Okay, cool. We got some, it looks like pocket knives down here, guys. Ooh, what's that? Got a little bit of change down in here. Which is always good, because I'll be glad to get... Yeah, that's some kind of Euro. A laser level? Okay, okay. So it looks like a mixture between a bunch of cords, uh, some pocket knives, and a few tools. Which, I mean, I'm not seeing anything crazy in there. So we'll move on. Okay, let's get to this one. I'm thinking this these are ashes, but we're going to find out. Nope, I was wrong. Some little knife. Nothing, nothing really in here. Just junk drawer type stuff. Nothing special in this box at all. But the box itself, well, the chain's missing on this side. Is it in here? No. That's still probably bring a few bucks. Not really getting my hopes up, guys, because I haven't seen really anything of value outside of clothing yet. But let's not uh, let's not write this unit off so soon. Okay, guitar picks. And, yeah, I mean, well, we know there's not a guitar in here. He did have Fender shirts, so who knows? Maybe he sold his guitar. Uh, why is this all funky like that? One, one little hinge. I don't know if he thought this was an antique or not, but definitely not. That'll go to Goodwill. Wouldn't even put that in my dollar booth. Looks like we got some, uh... Oh, cool, we got some music, uh, books. These sell good. Ooh, a case knife collection. Please have some case knives in here, man. Yes, he's got two, um, catalogs. Guitar for dummies. Looks like we've got a, uh, off-brand knife. A tripod. Ooh, 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 look at that, guys. No gun. Damn. And it doesn't look like anything of value in here at all. Whatsoever. Which is kind of a bummer. But the case itself is pretty cool. If I don't know why it has one hinge. But I can sell this in my booth. It looks it looks really cool. Oh, we got the small TV and then there's a big uh, kind of wider TV too. But looking at this stuff, guys, it looks old. I mean, look at the dust on this thing. This stuff has been sitting here for quite a while. Okay, this one feels really heavy. Don't be junk. And it's junk. Crap. Earbuds. Nothing in there. Ashtray. There's a Deadwood. Deadwood. DVD set. Nice. I might keep that for myself because I'll watch all of them and then I'll resell it. Not really seeing anything. Anything crazy in here. Remote ashtrays. I mean, what is this stuff? Oh, these are battery packs to laptops. Wonder why I had that. 17 battery packs. <clears throat> Ooh, Sopranos. I'll take that. That's good too. Put that with the deadwood. Yeah, this is just like all junky stuff. The box is good, though. The box will bring me good money, too. I'll put that in my booth. Uh, kind of chipped up, but doesn't matter. People will still buy it. And then we got a briefcase. I know some people get excited about briefcases, but I always think that it's got nothing but shit in here. Excuse my language, but these old briefcases just isn't where I would put my money. But I guess it is where you put your BS uh, money you owe. Sorry, I know it's personal paperwork. Yep, it's just all a bunch of money this guy owes. Receipts and stuff. Nothing special. That'll go in the dumpster. And that's, well, we can look at this bag right here. 
CDs. All CDs. Which, some of these might be some that people actually want. I will put this, I will probably check this out on Declutter. Uh, sell what I want on that. And then, everything else I'll put in my $1 booth. Got a cool little 12 gauge built. But So, overall guys, uh, was it the best unit? No. But... I've got to be honest, because here's the deal. The two TVs are great. I'm going to use one of them in my garage. I need a new testing TV. Uh, when you're doing this, you come across video games and, you know, even DVDs. You need to test them, uh, because if you don't test them, you send them out, and you get, you can, it can just cause you a lot of problems. Trust me, it takes more time to t talk back and forth with a person, uh, and try to make the customer happy and say, hey, uh, you know, whatever it is that you're going to have to say to the customer, it's much easier to just test everything before you send it out. And you're going to need tools to do that. You're going to need a TV. You're going to need whatever system of whatever it has. If you need speakers to check out a receiver, if you need uh, a receiver to check out speakers, if you've got any kind of game system, you're going to need that game system to check it. So, uh, you know, just a heads up. If you're going through storage units, be look, be on the lookout for that stuff too so you can use it because you will need that. I have almost one of every game system um, and, I ch and I test, I try to test everything. So anyway, overall, I'm happy with the unit. It looks like quite a bit of work for me, but I'm not complaining. Uh, I, I will definitely make money on this unit, mostly from the Orvis clothing. I'm super happy with that. Um, most of this stuff's going to get donated and, uh, most of it will go into my booth. So that's that guys. Thanks for watching.